Hello children. Today we'll start with chapter 12, making communication easier. So what is communication? Communication is a process by which we exchange information through several methods. So communication is the process of imparting or exchanging information either through speaking, writing, or using some other medium. So children, communication is simply the act of transferring information from one person to another person or one place to another place or one group to another group. And each and every communication involves at least one sender, a message and a recipient. Now I am making this video. So I'm giving you information about something. What am I giving you information about? About communication. So I'm sending you information. I'm sending you a message. So I'm the sender. You on the other side, you're receiving this video, you're watching this video and getting that information. So you will be the recipient or the receiver. So communication always takes place between a sender and a receiver where the sender will send some kind of message and the receiver will receive that message. Children, even animals communicate with one another, but it is only the humans who have developed a language. What is language? Language is the method of human communication. How do we communicate? We either communicate by speaking to someone or by writing to someone. So whenever we speak or write to someone, we use words to express our thoughts, our feelings and ideas. Before language was developed, man used signs and sounds to express himself. In the early days, when man started living on this earth, there was no language back then. So how did man communicate? He used either signs or sounds. Today, we have different means of communication that help us to send and receive messages. And they also help us to keep in touch with our friends and our relatives all over the world. For example, the Native Americans used smoke signals and the African tribes took the help of drum beats to send messages across. Later on, horsemen and trained pigeons were used for sending messages far and wide. The early people drew pictures of natural objects that they knew about and they drew these pictures of objects on the walls of the caves. Gradually, they started using symbols to express their ideas. The Egyptians, for example, developed a language called hieroglyphics. So this language was a pictorial script. A hieroglyph was a character or a letter which belonged to the ancient Egyptian writing system. So these characters are usually written in picture format. For example, a picture of a bird used to represent the sound of the letter A. This pictorial form of writing was also followed by the Greek and Latin letters. And from Latin, different European languages developed, including English. The Brahmi script was developed in India about 2000 years ago. So this Brahmi script is the earliest form of writing system which was developed in India. Hindi has evolved from the Devanagari script. The image that you see is the Devanagari script. Devanagari script was developed in ancient India and it had 47 primary characters or letters. So with the help of this script, various languages developed like Sanskrit, Hindi, Marathi, etc. Now let's learn about post and telegraph. Letters and postcards are dropped in letter boxes with addresses written on them. The sender's address and name and the receiver's address and his name will be written on the surface along with a stamp. 
so these letters will usually reach the receiver's address within a week children we have post offices that are situated all over the world so parcels and money orders can also be sent through these post offices what is a money order let's say for example if someone sends you a money order of 1000 rupees you can go to the bank and get it deposited to your account so a money order it looks something like the image on the right side the stamps on the mails advertise to the world about the head of the state the culture history politics and economy of the country so these stamps will help the post to reach from one place to another by railways roadways or airways so the main purpose of postage stamps is to provide an evidence that the customer that is the sender has paid for the postal services these postal stamps will be issued at the post office now let's learn about telegraph samuel morse an american inventor developed the telegraph so he developed a new method of sending messages with the help of telegraph we can send written messages in a much faster way the messages that were sent through this telegraph were usually sent in code this code is called as morse code the codes were later decoded at the post office and then they will be delivered to the receiver on a telegram so if you look at the images over here this is how they send the codes so morse code was used to send messages over long distances and with the help of this morse code each letter of the alphabet was translated into short and long signals so these short and long signals were in the form of dots and dashes so a telegraphic message is also known as a telegram once the post office decodes the morse code they will print that message on a telegram and send to the receiver these messages are usually sent through cables and telegraph wires then later on came the invention of teleprinter with the help of teleprinter we no longer had to send messages in code format why because the teleprinter could print the letters of the alphabet the 26 letters of the alphabet directly on a paper so there was no need of using codes we can directly type the messages onto a paper and we can send it to the person that we want the letter to be received so the messages could be sent three times faster compared to a telegraph that's it for today's le lesson children in the next video we'll learn about the other modern means of communication see you in the next video